In this video we're going to look at how we record um, cash sales in SAGE. Now first of all I want you to be aware that when I use the term cash sales I'm referring to a sale um, that is made um, where payment is received at the point of sale so there is no credit given. It does not refer to whether um, uh, payment is made by the customer in notes and coins for example. A cash sale could include the situation where we have made a sale and have received a payment by check, for example. In order to record this type of sale, I'm going to go down to the bank accounts module on the left hand side of the page, and then I'll select the uh, bank account or cash account into which the money has gone. So let's say it's gone into the bank current account. I will then click on the bank receipt icon at the top of the page and I can now record the bank receipt. Um, so we've got a table of data to complete. In the first column um, I can select the uh, appropriate um, bank account that the money is being paid into. I've already done that so that's code 1200 that refers to the current account. Then in the next column I'll record the date of the receipt. The following column enables me to record a reference. Now this might be um, uh, an invoice number or it might be a till roll number or something similar. The next column enables me to record an additional reference if um, more than one reference is um, recorded for this type of transaction. The following column um, I will re uh, record uh, the type of sales, so the nominal code. Um, here um, in this example we're going to record a uh, sale of lead, so that's nominal code 4000. The department and project reference columns I'm going to leave blank as we're not going to use that facility and in the details column I will type in an appropriate uh, description of this transaction. Then we have a net column and in here I would record the net amount of the sale and Stage would then calculate the VAT um, on that net amount uh, according to the um, tax code reference um, that's shown in the, uh, in the column just to the right of the net column. Um, T1 represents standard uh, VAT rate of 20%. But sometimes we are uh, we might only have the gross amount that's been received. And in this situation, we can um, enter the gross amount in the net column and use uh, Sage to calculate the appropriate split of that amount between net and VAT. The way that we do this is we record the gross amount in the net column. So let's say that that's £746.88. And then I will click on the Calculate Net button up at the top of this screen. Sage then recalculates the split of that amount between the net and the tax or VAT. I can then record an additional, um, uh, any additional um, cash sales on the rows below and I can keep going until I've recorded all of my cash sales. Once I've done that I will click on save and Sage has then updated its records for that particular um, cash sale and that's how we record cash sales.